Making formulas dynamic is super simple to do. It will instantly elevate your spreadsheet. And best of all, it will make drilling into data so much easier. And if you don't know what a dynamic formula is, it's just instead of having the criteria within the formula itself, we're going to point to an external cell and have the criteria live there. And this will make it a lot easier to update to drill into data, especially if you have multiple formulas pointing to that same cell. So for example, we're going to type equals sum if, and then we want our criterion range to be the office location. So I'll select the range for the offices. And then the manual way would be to put the criterion. So we're going to put northwest inside of quotes, then put a comma, and then put the sum range. Now, if you wanted to make edits to this, we would have to change northwest every single time to say east instead, and that would just take a lot of time. So instead, we're simply going to select the cell, and it will be a cell reference instead. So now I can use the drop down to select whatever office location I want, and I can get the total sum of sales for that office location. Now, sometimes this is as far as you need to go, but the biggest flaw with this is if you delete the criteria, it turns to zero, and that's because there is no criteria to be found. Instead, I want the exact opposite. So I want it to be where if there is no criteria, it shows me the full total. And then if I do have a criteria, it drills down into that amount. So to do this, we're going to type equals sum if, and then we need a criterion range again. So I'm going to select the offices, put a comma, and then we're going to put quote, asterisk, quote, ampersand, select the drop down cell that you want to do, ampersand, quote, asterisk, quote. Now there's a few parts of this that need to be highlighted. So the ampersand acts as a join. So what this is doing is it's joining the asterisk to the contents of whatever is in cell A3. So the formula is reading this as if I typed in quote asterisk north asterisk quote. But since we have the cell there, we can easily update whatever's in the middle of those asterisks. And the asterisks are a wild card. So since the cell is between two asterisks, as long as the text appears anywhere in that text block, it will be included in the total. Now, just like last time, we're gonna select the range that we want to total and we're all set there. Now, if we use the full office names drop down, it would match exactly with the totals, but instead we're using north, so that way it's pulling both northeast and northwest as if it's a region. And the reason why this is possible is because of those wildcards, so we're able to see exactly what's in the north, what's in the west, and what's in the south very easily. And best of all, if we delete the criteria altogether, we'll see what the total is without any conditions. So that's how to create a dynamic formula based off of a drop down. But what if we wanted to use a date instead? Pretty much everything is going to look the exact same, so we'll type equals sum if, but this time instead of using the office range, we're going to use the start date instead. Now normally the logical expression and the date would all be within quotes, but instead we're going to put the logical expression, so greater than or equal to within quotes, then put an ampersand to join, and then we'll select the cell that contains the date, and then after a comma we'll select the sum range again. And now since we have it formatted as a date in that cell, we can use a pop-out calendar to select a different date instead, so I'll go ahead and skip ahead and select April 1st of 2019 instead. And as you can see, when I selected the new date, it shaved off a little bit over $10,000. And the reason why I did that is because some of the people that were included before are no longer included. Now, what if we want to have multiple criteria? Instead of using some if, we'll use some ifs instead. And with some ifs, the sum range will always go first. Then we'll put a comma and select the first criterion range. And this time it will be the start date. Then we'll use that same formula we did before. So we'll put comma, quote greater than or equals to quote ampersand cell E1. And then we'll select the second criterion, which will be the office. Then we'll put a comma, quote asterisk quote ampersand cell A3, ampersand quote asterisk quote. And everything's working exactly like we did before. We just have multiple conditions to do. So this time, if we select West, for example, it will change the start date to reflect anybody in the West. And I can play around with the start date and it will only include people that meet both of those conditions. And it will exclude anybody that just meets one or none. And since everything's still dynamic, you can easily update the dates, you can easily update the drop downs to find exactly what you're looking for and play around with the data. So just to recap, if you want to make a dynamic formula with a drop down cell, you'll just put quote asterisk quote ampersand the cell ampersand quote asterisk quote. And if you want to make a dynamic formula with a date, you'll just put the logical operator in quotes and ampersand and then the cell reference. And you can have an entire grid of formulas that are all based off of these specific criterion to make things super dynamic. So that's how to make dynamic formulas. Like and subscribe for more.